Okay, everybody, Sawyer189 here, and I'm doing a little quick little uh, review, I guess uh, a little bit of history for the character Plastic Man, who is one of my favorite all-time characters. Uh, he's just a really fun, you know, creative character that you can always do crazy stuff with. Um, he's also noted for being pretty much the first, you know, comic, one of the first comical superheroes like yes, you know, comic books got their start as comics, like you know, newspaper comics, and they were usually always funny. But Plastic Man is like the first character that was doing serious things, but had a comical tone to him. If you know what I mean, like he was the first, like I guess, action comedy character that I can, that I'm pretty sh sure I can think of, or at least he was one of the first. Um, he's also credited with being like the first stretchy superhero, like superhero with that kind of power set of being able to morph into different things and stretch his body. So yeah, pretty interesting character. Um, he's also one of the uh, earlier characters that like you know started as a bad guy and, re and was redeemed. So it's very much a, like a story of redemption for him. You know, he starts off as a criminal, Eel O'Brien, and he gets shot while doing a heist, and he falls into a vat of chemicals. And of course, he becomes a superhero because that's what falling into a vat of chemicals does in the comic books. But yeah, uh, yeah, pretty cool little book. I've had this for a really long time. This is a uh, the Archives Volume 1, uh, he's created by Jack Cole, Jack Cole was a, uh, very, was a very talented artist, he had a very, kind of a short life, he, um, I believe he ended up taking his own life after he had a bunch of financial troubles and depression and things like that, it's very sad, but it happens sometimes, um, so that's just, let me show you a little bit of the art in this book, I've had this for so long, it's a, it's really beat up. I had it, I first got it when I was little, you know, well, I'd say little, I was probably like eight or nine years old, so definitely didn't take the best care of it, but yeah, I love these old Golden Age Plasma Man stories, and it's really great, you know, colors, and they're always very creative with the way he uses his powers, like right here, he, somebody's trying to take a swig at him, so he stretches his head away, and then comes back and hits him like a freaking, uh, what do you call that, um, and also, he first appeared in Police Comics, which is, uh, you know, back in the day, almost all the superheroes, you know, appeared in other comics. They didn't have, too, not too many characters actually had their own titles. I think Batman, Superman, were, were some of the only characters that had their own titles. Um, but he was, a, he was a backup feature in Police Comics. And, uh, you know, and usually these comic books would always try to, like, you know, try to figure out who was going to be the, the, the big rolling character. So they would, they would display the character they thought was going to be the, the main character. So I guess I guess the writers were thinking that Firebrand would be the seller of the book, but after just, after just a few issues, they realized that Plastic Man was the clear star of this book. So they start featuring him on all the covers, like right here. See, now Firebrand is the first, you know, the one at the side, not uh, on the top. So pretty cool. And just you have, and it's just really, I love these stories. A lot of them are so zany, like these early stories, and very creative. Like this one in particular is about a uh, guy who goes missing and Plastic Man finds him but then he realizes his hands have been cut off by these criminals and the criminals, if I can find it here, wait, let's see, where's that, yeah, the criminals are using the hands, they've somehow reanimated the hands and have, and have them do crimes, as you can see here, he's fighting a pair of severed hands, it's so crazy, and then he burns the hands, I mean, the hell what kind of stories are these? But they're fun, you know? And, you know, a lot of them are actually very dark, but they're still really fun. And, um... So, yeah, you have... I, I just I just really enjoyed this character. His early years are amazing. Like, look at this. He's turning his face into a freaking snake. How many superheroes do that? <laughs> um... And in this one, he's fighting a giant eight ball that's you know, rolling around, destroying everything. And it's got, like, a magnetic field, so it's attracting all kinds of metal and stuff as it's walking by as a yeah but yeah. yeah I just wanted to go over this real quick because this is a character I really enjoy and I just wanted to see if there's any other Plastic Man fans out there and if so what are some of your favorite stories I tend to like the Golden Age stuff the most um, his later years haven't been as profitable you know, as interesting to me but there are some golden nuggets in there um he also doesn't really get, he doesn't get his own title very often. I think he's had maybe four of his own titles over the years. But um, yeah, uh, let me know, let me guys let me know what you guys think about Plastic Man in the comments, and thank you guys for watching.